Hey guys, welcome back for more Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. In the last part, we met a puny called Punio, and he's one of the creatures that live in uh, Boggly Woods. So go over here and talk to him. Wait, hang on a second. I'm sure the puny others, so there's some button around here open to the secret entrance. Aha! And that was awesome. I just loved how that happened. Even there's windows. You can get to the woods we, to where we punies live by going through that pipe there. Okay, hurry, hurry! And so begins chapter two. Almost. Here we go. Chapter two. The Great Boggly Tree. These, this forest is freaky. It's really awesome. I love the colors. It looks really cool. And the music's awesome too. These are the boggly woods. They look so boggling. Oh ho, I've got butterflies. Mind boggling. Okay, so it is boggly woods. Okay. Just a bit further and we should be able to see the great tree. The elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little sister too. Come on, let's go. Save, 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 save. It's about getting progress at this point. Yes. Okay, I'll save. Uh oh, it's Shadow Siren. Wee! Time to go to work, lovelies. Vivian, you understand what we've got to do, yes? A, find that Mario guy, and B, steal the map from the Crystal Stars, right? We can just do away with Mario's friends, can't we? Or is that bad? Oh, bad things happen to all the time, Vivian, but you're right but you're right about our goals. My information is correct, Mario should be coming down the road quite soon. You must ambush him there and get the map. What's this now, Vivian? Vivian, what's that you're fawning over there? Oh, what you mean this? I found it near that tree over there a while back. Isn't it a isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It was so lovely, I just had to pick it up. Vivian, for shame! Picking up someone's scraps, disgusting, greedy. But enough about that, Vivian, my dear pack rat. Bring out the sketch of that Mario guy that you got from Brodus. Yeep! Well, what? I, I don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous. I don't have such a thing. Have that thing. You're in charge of it. You wretched little worm. Blame me for something you probably screwed up. But I. <laughs> oh, what is it, Marilyn? Huh? What's that? A mustachioed fellow. There's no time for such nonsense, you great oaf. Save your games for later. No, no, where was I? You, Vivian, don't tell me you lost our precious sketch. But listen, I... Look, it's not my fault. I never had the sketch. Silence, you dits! Such Im impudence? Impudence? Whatever. How dare you talk... How dare you talk to me? Blech. How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child? It is clear to me that the only ration, ration, blech. God, I get tongue-tied way too easily. It is clear to me that you, that the only rational, uh, I don't care if your type understands its force. For your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace you just found. Yes, so sorry. But, but, tell them. Oh, you're horrid. Walk along. I just want to talk to Bill. What is it, you Mr. Mustache? Leave a scram right now. I have no business with you. I believe Marilyn will say guh. Uh, guh, guh. What does Vivian say? Sniff, sniff, sniff. Oh, what am I to do? Poor Vivian. And here's one of our first enemies in the Boggly Woods. This is a dark piranha. Memory serves me right. Their HP is five, and their attack is three. But we're about to find out. Pale piranha. Whatever. I messed up. It looked like a dark piranha. That is a pale piranha. You know about these guys? The famous piranha plants. The color sus colorless sub subspecies is adapted to boggly woods, and that's their wondrous nature. Max HP is four, and their attack is two. I was one up on each thing. Whatever. And defense is zero. If you try to jump on them, they'll totally chomp on you. Beep, 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 beep. 
dude. Darn it, I didn't get the super guard on that. Oh, uh, wait, I also want to tattle on Clef. It should be like a darker pale Clef. Or just a regular Clef. A rockhead jerk with spikes on its noggin. What a rocker. Max HP is 2, attack is 2, defense is 2. Oh no. That's hard head and the major pain. Fire doesn't hurt, but other types of items are pretty well against it usually. If nothing seems to work, you can always just run. Okay, our hammer isn't going to work on that. Never mind, we got power smash. I forgot about that. Yay, five star points. Skip all these other battles. I, I'm mostly gonna be skipping the battles just so we can get through the walkthrough more, you know. But um, if I have to, I'll do all like off-screen leveling again. There, can you see it? That big tree. That's what I was telling you about. That's where the we punies live. That's home. Of course, it's not just us in the tree. Lots of jab jabbies and piters too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me, and somebody is calling me. I've never had anybody call me in all clear. I'm not answering it, though. My aunt will. Wait for me! God, he runs fast. Funny how we entered the tree on the hill, but we're actually just going up to the tree now. A machine-like door on a tree. Uh... What's going on? Oh, uh, well, take a look. This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. And I can't open it. I thought even I could finally save... I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Oh, quit being so melodramatic, although it does look thick. What are we going to do now? Uh. Um. Hmm. Uh. Mm, mm, mm. Got it! Where are you going? Long ago, the Puny Elder told me something about the, a secret interest somewhere around here. We can get in through there. I'm completely sure of it. Uh, problem is, I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. What should we do now? What should we do? How are we supposed to find a secret entrance if the only secret, for, if it's the only, if it's secret for a reason, you know? God, I get tongue-tied so fast. Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find it and remove the thingy. Boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough. Let's let 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 alone of an invisible one, an invisible one. Oh, got it, Flurry! S surely, Madame Flurry's powers can help us. Flurry is a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The elder says she, she's a wind spirit and she can wield the powers of air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use her wind power to blow this thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so. Let's head back to the direct direction it came from. Now there is a badge here. It is over here. We have to go back over here. Under the little waterfall here. It's an FP plus badge. So if you decided, oh, I upgraded my BP for nothing, you can go and activate the badge so that you have plus five of your FP. Just warning you, when you first activate it, your FP won't go up by 5 right there. You have to, like, restore it somewhere. And if you take it off, it's going to drop it. And then if you activate it again after you deactivate it, you just lost 5 FP. And I didn't read that. Darn it, I should have. This place is so different from the blight flash bulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace. This negative image of the real world soothes my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Flurry, grow even more lovely here. Plus, those squishy, adorable little punies that live in the tree are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll be I'll begin to crave hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my! It's happening even as I speak. Already feel the need for drama. The moment of acceleration, exhal, exhalation, whatever acceleration. When the spotlight shines down on the stage on me, surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. 
It's settled then. I shall rise again, but before I make my stage come back, I must simply whip out my body and mind into shape. And we gotta end the part here, guys, unfortunately. Um, so we just began chapter two. It's gonna be a while before we finish. So I will see you guys in the second part of chapter two when we actually get into the great boggly tree. I will see you guys then.